Why is everybody late? Are you mad at me? I ran the Los Angeles Marathon and I got first place. I just have a lot of feelings right now. No, that's okay. I, I think I'm just gonna watch so I can learn how to do it that way. We're out of snacks. We're gonna starve to death. I'm so bored. Whose idea was it to stay home today? Uh. You can't eat a couple of Oreos and then say that you're still keto. It is all or nothing. I have no idea. I don't know myself at all. In this video, we'll be looking at the annoying things that all nine Enneagram types do and say. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Abby Howe, and I'm here to help you discover you. I put out new videos twice a week, so if you wanna see more Enneagram things, subscribe to this channel. I'm about to show you the highlights from my annoying Enneagram series, but if you wanna see the full video on a certain type, you can click this card or look in the description down below. Keep in mind that this is all in good fun. These are definitely over-exaggerated examples and all Enneagram types struggle with these things depending on their levels of alignment. Now let's start with annoying things about Enneagram ones. Known as the perfectionist or the reformer, Enneagram ones fear being corrupt and wrong. So they combat those fears by trying to be as good and balanced as possible. When ones are out of alignment, this desire can lead to micromanaging others, fixating on small imperfections and judging other people's behaviors. Ones can also get stuck in analysis paralysis. Their perfectionism can create procrastination if they feel like they can't do something perfectly. Why is everybody late? Maybe just one more draft before I hit publish. I'm almost done. Can you just make sure that you write some really descriptive sentences about the property? I, mean, I did that. I use adjectives like serene, peaceful. Aren't you coming with me to the women's march? Mm, no, I think I'm just gonna hang out. It's not like you have plans or like it's a good cause and it's gonna make change or anything. Oh, okay, fine, I'll go. How's that blog article coming? Not until I'm done making the world's longest writing utensil. You know, the article's gonna be really great. <laughs> what if I wrote this? Look at it. Imagine taking this in to take a test, just like, oh, let me grab my pencil. <laughs> it's really long. Enneagram 2s, the helper and the advisor, fear being rejected and unwanted. This means that they focus on the needs of others in order to gain the gratitude and love of the other people in their life. When 2s are out of alignment, they can struggle with codependence, playing the martyr, and completely ignoring their own needs and desires. Also, this may sound crazy, but pride can be the downfall of the 2. And I know what you're thinking, what? Abby, twos are so selfless. But pride comes into play when twos believe that others are more needy than them and that they alone know what's best. I'm just gonna bring this care package over to the Johnsons after I help Carrie move out of her new apartment. I want you to be happy, but I wanna be the reason. Can you clean the shower if you're not busy? Um, yes, absolutely, I, I can do that right now. I'm not busy at all. Great. Ugh. Do you need help? Nope, I got it. I can totally help you, Carrie. No, 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 of course. It's, this just weighs as much as a baby gorilla, but it's fine. Okay, definitely seems like you want me to help. I do not need help. If you help me, I'm gonna be very upset. Please do not help Okay, me. okay. It would be nice to get a little help though. Okay. Are you mad at me? No. It's just that I kind of sense that you're mad at me. I'm not mad. Is it because I smell? This is how you make frosting. I'm, I'm okay. But I can teach you. I've made hundreds of cakes for people. I'm baking a cake so I can learn how to bake a cake. I love you and I hear you, but you're holding the mixer wrong and I really can help you. So I'm just gonna, just gonna. Slide in there real quick, just show you one little thing, just one little tiny thing. Enneagram threes, the performer or the achiever, fear failure. They wanna be seen as successful and worthy in all things. When threes are out of alignment, they can embellish the truth, become extremely competitive, and try to earn love through their accomplishments. They can also get wrapped up in maintaining their image and controlling how other people see them. You must earn love need to deserve it. This report isn't what I asked for. Yes it is, it's exactly what you asked for. This is about milkshakes. I, I asked for a report on smoothies. Milkshakes are just unhealthy smoothie. I invented Uber. I ran the Los Angeles Marathon and I got first place. I have a solid gold femur. Yes it's a thing. Don't Google it. It's the biggest pimple in the whole world and it won't go away and I don't know where Dr. Pimple Popper lives so I'm just gonna have to stay here until, until it goes away. Scarlet in the bedroom with the lead pipe. I won. I am the best clue player on the history of the planet. I am amazing. You are the loser. <laughs> we are never playing clue together ever again. Enneagram four is the romantic or the individualist. 
fear that they are fundamentally flawed. When fours are out of alignment, they can spiral into melodrama, struggle with dissatisfaction, and play the role of the victim. Because fours long to be seen as special and unique, they can sometimes be overly judgmental about things that they feel are basic or ordinary. Close your eyes and listen to this. I just have a lot of feelings right now. Can you feel it? You don't understand me. Mmm, pumpkin spice latte season. You want some? I don't know you. You want to taste? It's pumpkin-y. You have to try it. Here, take a little sippy sip. Take a little sip. A little taste. A little tasty taste. Just like sip on a leaf. Sip on a pumpkin pie. Carl unfriended me on Instagram. This is a calamity! I'm never gonna have friends ever again! Carl. I broke up with Justin. What? A week ago he was your soulmate. Eh, as soon as I decided that, the magic went away. I'm shocked. Yeah. Oh, I did find this new guy though. He's so cute. I'm gonna show you this picture. See, isn't he cute? I just love him so much. Oh my gosh. I wonder what our babies are gonna look like. No, we haven't gone on our first date yet. He doesn't know who I am, actually. But he will. Lost my job today. Oh, that's too. And I broke up with my boyfriend, Justin. That's a lot. I'm really sorry. So, do you wanna go to the movies with me now? I love Monday mornings. What a beautiful morning. What a great start to the day. Gonna be a migraine day. Enneagram 5s, the observer and the investigator, are afraid of being incapable. Because 5s collect knowledge, they're often more aware than anyone of all the things that they don't know. This means that you can probably find them doubting their qualifications even if they've been studying something for over a decade. Of all the types, 5s are the most emotionally detached, but that doesn't mean that 5s don't feel things. It just means that 5s have trouble processing their emotions and they're afraid that doing so are gonna waste their inner resources. You never know when you might need to research something. I'm almost ready for lunch! Just a couple more. So pokey. Oh, I found an ant! I wonder why ants go on cacti. Did you bring your phone? I'm gonna look it up. I'll come join the party in just a little bit. I just need a little time to myself. I just, uh, just a little bit. I'm just. Uh, I'll be right there. I just, I'm just one second. I'm just gonna. Okay. I mean, uh, there's so many amazing new musicals out there that deserve the time and attention of Broadway. But oh no, let's do Rent. Let's do Cats again because we know it works. Don't you agree? Um, I, I, I don't know anything about musicals, but. Um, I'm just gonna run home real quick and watch 10,000 YouTube videos and then I'll get back to you on that So if you'll just excuse me, I'll... I think I threw a joint out in my back or something Do you, do you think you could take a look at it? Oh man, I, I just don't know if I could figure it out You're a chiropractor. There's so much to think about and so much to research So I really need to do that before I ever work on anyone ever again Are you sure you don't want to join us? We're doing vinyasa yoga today. No, that's okay. I, I think I'm just gonna watch so I can learn how to do it that way. Okay. Have you been here all day? Oh, yeah, I'm just researching how to fix my watch. You know, there's a watch repair shop right up the street. Oh, I'm learning how to do it myself. So you spent your entire Saturday researching how to reset a dial in a $5 watch you bought at Walgreens instead of spending your weekend, I don't know, hanging out with me and seeing Star Wars? Yep. Why did Marley have to die? Well, he had a near fatal intestinal disorder, so after the second attack, there was just no way he was gonna live a pain-free life. Honestly, euthanasia was probably the most ethical option. What? Why are you crying so hard? Enneagram sixes, the loyalist or the guardian, fear being unsupported. This can manifest into bad anxiety if they're out of alignment. They will be constantly in a pattern of worst case scenario thinking. In relationships, sixes tend to worry about what terrible thing might ruin their relationship, even if everything is going really well. I see your side, but on the other hand, I also see your side, so... Maybe we should just ask somebody else. We live in Los Angeles over the San Andreas Fault, okay? We are in constant danger of a magnitude 8 earthquake. This is honestly the safest place for me right now. You do realize we have a board meeting here in about five minutes? Do you think everyone's gonna be able to fit under here? Okay, I found Sally and Tommy about a block away from the preschool. I called their parents and they're currently in timeout for scaring us all, so it's all under control. <laughs> this is fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I lost two children, I'm fine. Are we good? Are you good? Am I good? You wanna go to lunch? No, I can't eat, I can't sleep. There's just too much to do. 
Enneagram sevens, the entertainer or the optimist, fear being deprived. This means that they have a huge emptiness inside of them and they have this never ending insatiable desire to fill that emptiness with like new experiences and new things in the hope that one day they will be content. Also, because they avoid pain at all costs, sevens can often squash their negative feelings down and cover it up with optimism. Though this may sound like a really positive thing, and it is, to be able to see silver linings is really great, but for sevens, it often means that they are completely ignoring that part of themselves, that emotional, that raw part of themselves, and they're covering it up and never dealing with the root pain. Let's go to the fair. No, you know what would be more fun is if we go to the beach because it's such a sunny day and, and you know what? Never mind. Let's go to the nail salon. I want to get some gels on. Hi, puppy. Oh, I feel sad. Oh, do you want to talk? But you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm getting coffee with Sarah in five minutes and then I have a Zumba class with Monica and then I'm going to meet with three potential new clients. Okay, but you just said that you were sad, so do you want to talk about I'm buying it? us two tickets to Mexico so we can finally see the ancient Mayan ruins. Mexico. This is going to be so fun. Great talk. Bye. I'm so tired, but Savannah's birthday party is in like 30 minutes. Do I look tired? You haven't slept in like two days. I can't miss out on this party. It's okay to miss one social thing. No. I'm up. I'm going. You're painting now? Yeah. It's so fun. I think painting's going to be my new hobby. How about the coffee table you were building for the living room? Oh, I forgot about that. Honestly, I just got so excited about the painting that I just, I don't know, building a coffee table just seemed kind of stupid. I heard you lost a job. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's fine. You know what they say, when one door closes, another one opens. Yeah, but but you really loved that job. Sometimes good things fall apart, so better things can come together. <laughs> can you just stop for like a second and feel something, la, anything? La, 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 I can't hear you. Every cloud has a silver lining. So bored. Whose idea was it to stay home today? Uh. Homo sapien, captain again, hallucinogen. Little to the right. Close to that car? Are you kidding me? Who taught you how to parallel park? Can you just, can you just let me drive? You're, just, you're, you're just, you're not doing it right. Just let me, just let me drive the car. You know what? I'm, I'm driving the car. Let me do it. We're switching spots. <sighs> Enneagram 8s, the protector or the challenger, fear being manipulated and weak. Because of this, they can fall into their core weakness of lusting after power. They can dominate their environment in order to take control of their lives and make sure that they're not going to be hurt by anyone else. Also, if 8s are out of alignment, they can create conflict just to liven things up. This can feel very aggressive to others and can sometimes lead to the disintegration of relationships, especially if the 8 isn't aware of how their confrontation makes others feel. I'm not doing that. Nuh-uh. No way. Nope. Big giant, big giant N-O. Not happening. Mm -mm. Timmy said what to you? What's his address? I'm gonna go over there right now and give him a piece of my mind. What's his address? Do you know his address? Give me his address. Here's what you need to do. If you follow my plan exactly, it's all gonna work out the right way. We as women have decided that uh, we're gonna eat salads because that's what skinny pretty women do. Just eat these like boring ass salads, but it's like there's so many other equally healthy things that you could be eating right now that aren't salads, but are so healthy for your body, but like actually taste good. I thought this outfit would look really good on you for the party tonight. I'm not wearing that. I choose what I wear. I'm wearing this. You can't wear that. It's a dinner party and they're serving quail. Well, I'm bringing my own bird. Turkey. You're bringing a turkey. A whole turkey. There's a huge scratch right there where you hit it. Maybe you should learn how to park. What? What should you hit my car? You're so sensitive. I'm pissed because you made a commitment and then you went back on it and now this entire friendship is totally ruined. It was double stuffed Oreos. I couldn't resist. Double stuffed? I'm double betrayed. Enneagram nines, the peacemaker or the mediator, do not want to be in conflict. Instead, they crave inner stability and peace. If they're out of alignment, however, nines can fall asleep to their opinions, their desires, their priorities, in order to lessen their impact on other people. Also, as part of the gut or the anger triad, nines have a lot of unresolved anger. However, they're really afraid to let it out, so they stuff it down and and it kind of eeps out in passive aggressive behavior. Whatever you guys want to do. What? Did you say something? 
I was thinking about a dream I had. It's really raining. My almonds are gone. Oh yeah, I shared them with my writing group yesterday when they came over. Sorry I didn't ask you, I just figured you wouldn't mind. That's okay, I'll just go buy more. I, I figured it was fine because they were just out on the counter, so it was kind of like, fair game. What are your hopes and dreams for your personal life? Like, what, what, do, you, what do you want? What do you think about the world? I think that whatever you think is a great thing. Tell me, just tell me. I don't know, I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know myself at all. I take this book for me or, or do I leave it so someone else can read it? No, I really wanna read it. I've been waiting all year to read this book. I'm gonna take the book. I can't take the book, I have to leave it. This is just, just I can't take the book. Is something wrong? I can't imagine what you mean. I just need to finish swiffering the floors and then I need to bleach the sink and then I need to clean the shower and then I have to pick the kids up from school and then I need to make a bunch of jam. Are you kidding me? Sarah got promoted over you? But it's okay, at least this way I don't have to hire or fire anybody. Yeah, but didn't you like train and mentor her? Like you taught her everything you know. She must be just smarter than me. You know, she learned pretty quick when I was training her. Weren't you the one who recruited her? Yeah, but they need me where I am. I mean, I do more in this position than anyone else has ever done. And you get paid less. I'm gonna take the book. There's a new series I'm working on about annoying things Enneagram types do in romantic relationships. You can find that series here, and you can subscribe to this channel for new videos every week right here.